unataka nianze kujia nyama 6 for the first time in my life i've made pancakes that look like this like so the meat is dried up now 18 pieces so one carton is 961 that means you're getting it at a price of i hate cottage with all my heart um this content thing has been really frustrating me. And yeah, a few days in the life mean that sometimes we have no energy to do anything and we don't want to do anything. And we don't want to talk and we don't want to do anything. Good morning guys. Hi, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to the Empire. My name is CJ. I do beauty and lifestyle vlogs in this channel. Um, welcome back to my channel. So welcome to yet another vlog. Um, so today is on 20, yo, 26, I think. I don't know, 26 or 27th of <laughs> January. I keep com com confusing the dates because when yesterday I was having another vlog and I think I said the same, same exact things that I'm saying right now. So it's on a Tuesday. Um, I woke up at nine for I was supposed to wake up at five and then i don't know what happened i just had my alarm going on even when my daughter left for school i didn't i didn't hear because she wakes up at five so i was supposed to wake up at five and then she, i didn't tell her to wake me up so obviously she couldn't and then i didn't wake up at five and then now that's messing up with my whole system because now i'm putting it in myself to be waking up at five doing my studies and all that then i can skip into the house show so i've just woken up directly into making making breakfast which I'm gonna show you in a few. I'm making banana pancakes for the first time. I've never done that before. And I don't know if this nigga is munching them because, yeah. Baby, have you eaten your pancake? Is it yummy? There you go. Alicia has eaten like half of it, okay? So just woke up and then Habi's like, yo, you need to go to school. You need to go get, fix some stuff in baby's school, my first class school. So like now that school has a lot of uh, regulations. I need to go. Is it I go during break time or I go during lunch time? So it's ten. So obviously it's break time now. So I need to like hurry up. I just want to do the dishes, set up the house, take a shower. Then I'm. The problem is I don't know if by the time I'm leaving my hubby will be back because I really don't want to go with Zaya. Because going with Zaya means I have to get on a motorbike and it's a walking distance. But when I'm with him, I can't. We can't walk because we'll start walking and then in the middle of the road like carry me, carry me, and the way he's heavy. I'm not gonna about to do that. Um, normally, it's my hubby who does school errands. <laughs> for the longest time, for so many years, he has been the one doing school errands. And that's because, number one, I want him to create that rapport with the daughter and then with the teachers to be familiar. Actually, the teachers don't even know me. So the first time I went for her report book, not the first, the second, after a long time, the class teacher was like, are you the mom or you the household? Because my baby is quite, she's almost my size. We are like the same height and everything. So they're always like, mm, you can't be the mother. And like, I'm the mother. So even today, I know the head teacher is going to be short and all that. So, Because Habi is the one who does. They know him. I mean, they, they don't have an idea who the mother is. I think even some of them think that she doesn't have a mother or something like that. But the classmates know me because they see me on TikTok and they see me on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. So yeah that's what i want to do and then i come back i don't know where this vlog is gonna take us because like i said i don't really usually have a lot of things i do in my life just dishes house chores taking a shower and taking care of the baby yeah so i'll see you in a gif I was trying to make some banana pancakes for the first time in my life i've made pancakes that look like this like they're brown they're fluffy i kind of like it the recipe is going to be on tiktok or i'm gonna post it as a short so if you want to check that out you can see that but this is what i thought i should make zaya for breakfast and <laughs> i'm not sure if he's enjoying okay that it's in a funny way so i don't know so this is the last bit but something i would recommend use the black non-sticky pan this one is non-sticky but it's messing the pancakes up so badly so it's really sticking like and then i don't have a wooden the wooden spoon i have can't see like i've burnt this one so yeah that's what we are having for breakfast i don't know if nowadays i find it so hard to have breakfast um 
I think it's because I've been fasting so much. So I kind of like it's in my system like I'm not having breakfast and such. So I don't know if I'm going to have breakfast. But I'll let you know. Okay. So I'm done. I want to leave. And then lights is capotea. If you'll see their things so we don't have lights. So I have to. I'm like. It's 12.30. So I'm like 10 minutes out. And the school is just like 5 minutes drive if I'm using a motorbike. So, so I'm gonna do it. I'm doing the exam. I don't have a place to leave him. So I went and then I come back. I came back. Uh, I didn't even take long there. I took like 30 minutes to an hour then we came back so by by two i was ready at home now we still don't have lights they're being fixed like there's a, a whole um electrical process going on around the area i want to go to bama because <laughs> bama is just here I'm, I'm feeling so tired but it's like when i'm dressed i'm dressed like give me things to do when i'm dressed like don't let me dress up and use my dressing up for 30 minutes <laughs> As if this is even dressing up anyway. So I want to go to Burma and get uh, meat. We don't have meat in the house. Just beef meat. That reminds me. If I get beef meat, I don't know what my son will eat. That boy is allergic to beef. Or just anything beefy. He's allergic to that. So if I'm getting beef, I need to get potatoes to make him some soup. Um, yeah, that's what I want to say. I'm going to Burma. I want to go get some meat. And then I come back home and I also need some onions because I don't have and maybe a few tomatoes. I don't know because I still have some and then come back. Okay, so yeah, that's all we're doing. Good. So I'm back. So I got a few stuff. So I got onions. This size four went for twenty shillings, and it was really hard to find. There's really no onions, by the way. So I couldn't get onions. <clears throat> so I bought onions for for I bought for a hundred shillings. I also got bell pepper for ten shillings each. So I got bell peppers. Ooh. I got bell peppers. Uh, my screen and the lighting is off. Two for 10 shillings each. I got garlic for 20 shillings each. I don't know why garlic is so expensive. I also got ginger. I don't know why it is. And then I got these two avocados that I'm not even sure if they're okay, but they look really nice. So I got two for 50. One was 30, the other one was 20 shillings. Also got some tomatoes. One was five shilling each, which I think is quite nice uh, compared to what you're buying from the Vibandas right now. So those ones went for five shillings each. They're really nice. I really loved this guy's place. So I bought for a hundred also. I got some clean ginger. <laughs> uh, these ones went for ten shillings each. They're really nice and clean. I like that. Also got Zaya some carrots for biting because he loves carrots. And then the main reason I went to Burma was to get meat. So can you imagine by the time I was going there, there was literally no meat. I had to take bone marrow, which I really don't mind because it's usually better. But the guy didn't have steak. So if I needed like minced meat, I couldn't get it. I also went looking for goat meat in Kapata in Asia. So yeah, I'll buy that another time. So <laughs> pretty much that's it. I got a kilo of beef. I'm gonna separate that and cook it twice at least. I wanted to make pilau, but I still don't have shopping, so I'm going to uh, make sure I do what I keep that until I buy rice. I'm gonna keep like a half of it. I need to buy shopping, like, I'm literally out of everything, so I need to do shopping soon. I don't know when that is, but I need to do soon, 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 soon. So, those are the things I got from the market, and then I want to show you some few stuff that I thrifted. Just a few things. The reason why I'm saying the tomato was a good steal. These ones I got them for three for twenty sometime back. 
from the same guy so i feel like they're just the same size as the ones i've just bought right now or a slightly bigger okay so i had this so i'm going to rem I remove this from the storage <coughs> sorry and then i put the ones that i've bought right now and then i'm going to put the ones that were there before on top yeah <coughs> so i also got some thrifted t-shirts that i would like to the idea was to get oversized shirts shirts that i can come and t-shirts or t-shirts t-shirts that i can come and um customize because uh, i really want some t-shirts that i can use to chill in the house so I bought these ones for 20 shillings. So I haven't even, I don't even know if they fit. So I got this one. Just, just, you know, t-shirts. They're just casual t-shirts for wearing my gym bras because, yeah. Even this one you can see is very big. It's oversized, huge, but it's okay. And then there's this one. This one is more of a dress, but it's like a vest kind of. See how big this is. I just want to wear this when it's hot. Because it gets hot. And then this one also. Just some casual t-shirts. They are worth 20 shillings because they're not like, like in perfect shape or anything. Just shirts that have been ripped off and stuff like that. <clears throat> and also I got this one. So yeah that's what i got i got some gumboots for zion they don't fit they're small so i mean that's it so let me just try and prepare dinner so now i want to make beef and ugali for dinner because i only have unga in this house so the only thing i can make is ugali and even last yesterday we ate ugali so i want to marinate this for just a few minutes because i don't have time it's almost six I always like my dinner to be ready by 6.30 or by 7. So I'm going to put here some garlic and ginger, which I've already crushed here. So garlic, ginger, some salt, some soy sauce, and uh, what? Because I'm not using spices. I don't even have any spice. The only spice that I have here is curry. And nowadays, I no longer eat curry because we don't eat curry because... Of bloating stomach curry blocks your stomach a lot so i stopped using curry so i'm gonna use ginger paste and um <clears throat> land what and garlic then i'm gonna add some salt some soy sauce cover it for like 30 minutes and then boil it a little bit then i can stuff right hmm? mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in the morning mm -hmm. Mm. So I forgot to add thyme. If there is a spice that I've recently discovered that goes well with your meat products, this thing is a killer. This thing is killer. Once you boil your meat with it, you're done for. It's so yummy. It smells so good. So I'm going to let that boil. And then we can cook. So the meat is dried up now. I'm going to add onions and then I'm just gonna let you guys see through because they don't want to talk You guys forget the mess that is my kitchen because you the girl is tired. Like I haven't sat down to date for the night. So once that is boiling, we add our tomato to the way. You can also add the paste at this point, but I don't have paste. So tomato will be good. This is tomato and bell pepper. Thank you. 
Different salts. This is the point where you add your spices if you have. I don't have spices. This is the thyme and the ginger and the garlic. Those are the only spices I've used. So just natural spices. I'm not adding spice. I'm tempted to add because I feel like it's missing something. Oh no. But I don't want to. So that's it. That's like and our food is ready. It is ready. Good morning guys. It's the next day, I think 29th of March 2023. Um this eye is red, right? Or all of them are red. I haven't even washed my face, but it's red. It's 9 a.m. in the morning. I did wake up at 5 a.m. today. I managed to do my Bible study and my reading space. And then I had this bad migraine on this side. Then I couldn't, you know, when I wake up, I initially just go ahead and get into the day's work and everything. But today I couldn't. That head was banging. So I just decided, let me like take a nap, one hour nap. And then I slept up to nine. So I've just woken up right now. And then Zaya was craving rice. So I just had to boil some rice for him. He just woke up telling me he wants rice and everything. So right now he's having rice. I want to give him chocolate tea. I'm trying to cut down as much milk as I can because I'm trying to figure out what he's allergic to. But yesterday he ate meat soup and I didn't see him react. The other day he ate eggs, he didn't react. So I'm just trying to control the protein amount. So probably he's just allergic to protein. So I'm trying to avoid milk as much as I can. Um, but yeah, today I really don't have much that is going on. Um, I want to fix my prayer wall. And then soon soon I'll be showing you guys my morning routine. Uh, maybe it can encourage someone. So I want to fix my prayer wall. I want to fix up my baby's affirmations and stuff. And then uh, I have a fellowship in the evening. My sister is hosting for fellowship, so I have to go there. So I wanted to film YouTube content today, or I hope to have filmed YouTube content today. Let's stop what you're doing, please. Don't do that. But that's not going to happen because if I film, I'm going to get late for the fellowship because by the time I finish, I'm supposed to make dinner. The fellowship starts at seven. Like it, it will be a lot. So I will not film today. Baby, don't do that. Hmm? I'm giving you your tea, okay? So, so where was I before I got distracted? I think I was talking about that I don't have a lot to do today. Fix my prayer room. I need to fix my prayer wall. I'm also thinking of creating a study nook uh, soon. I'm just waiting for the fundi to come. Then we can do a little bit of measurements. And I just need to make a nook for reading because my position right now is not helping. Um, also, yeah, I wanted to share today's verse with somebody. Maybe she'll encourage you. Whatever season you're going through, just know that there's a season for everything. Like in the Bible says in Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 uh, that there's a season for everything. That tough times don't last forever. And that God will perfect everything in his time. When the time is perfect, he will perfect it. So just keep on pushing and praying for whatever you have been praying for. Uh, there's something I've been praying for for so long and I know that it will manifest. It is something that nobody, it's only God that can do, but it will manifest. Maybe one day in future I will share with you guys. It is something that got me shocked, but uh, the peace of the Lord has been my strength. The joy of the Lord has been my strength. He has given me peace that surpasses all understanding and it's good. So yeah, just to encourage you that there's a season for everything. Whatever it is you're going through wouldn't last forever. Like I'm a furaha wish at some point in Zuni and India. Like, yeah, so that's that's the affirmation for today. Also, I need to clean my makeup brushes. They're really dirty. I should clean them since I don't have a lot to do today. It's just the normal house shows that I'm not gonna show you. So yeah, so probably I'll show you when I'm cleaning my makeup brushes. I don't think. Yeah, I need to make breakfast, but also I feel like I should fast today. Mm, my fasting is not like the exercise kind of fasting at it to lose weight and no that's not the purpose because my weight just get lost just like that it's it's, it's a biblical fast so i, sh I should fast today uh but i need to make breakfast for hubby but i don't know what i'll make for him 
his breakfast is usually very complicated but i think he'll eat ugali leftover and tea that is fine so for me i'm just going to you know go commando i'll think about it whether i'm fasting half a day or i'll fast a full day or yeah something like that so yeah so right now i want to sit down and update my social medias i've not been selling in my social media for i've been avoiding social media i've been fasting from social media also for the past one week so now i want to kind of not get back to it because nowadays social media too were in a bambi to be honest i rarely get on instagram i rarely get on tiktok unless i'm posting something and i don't even follow up after posting so yeah i will see you guys a bit later on when something else comes up hey guys um good morning because it's morning where i am right now <coughs> I don't know when was the last time I talked to you guys. I think it was when I went to school and then the next day, which was on Wednesday. So I didn't talk to you guys yesterday. Let me tell you guys, I'm in the pits. Like I have been in the pits. My emotions are not perfect. They're not correct. They're not good in any way, in any way form or shape. And also because content is not really working out for me. Um, this content thing has been really frustrating me, by the way. Well, it's frustrating like i don't know what i need to do to make it grow like i don't know it's just not um <clears throat> cutting it it's not cutting it it's not working the way i want it to work but uh, content aside i don't really let it get into me that much but it's just generally life and the things that <sighs> when you wake up to a re realization of oh my god you you have lost yourself in such a long time so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with like I'm trying to figure out what I am, what I am doing, what I'm 30 right now is when I'm trying to figure out my life. It's not always roses all the time. Like I I don't think I show roses anyway all the time. I think I just show how my life is. It's this was meant to be a few days in the life. And yeah, a few days in the life mean that sometimes we have no energy to do anything and we don't want to do anything. And we don't want to talk and we don't want to do anything. Nothing in the sense of business is working for me. Nothing in the sense of trying to make myself better is working for me. Nothing in the sense of trying to become an independent person is working for me. Everything is working against me. Like It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I finally decided to go not i go i didn't go not the one who went it's hubby who has gone for shopping and this is part of what we are getting he still has the receipt so i'm just going to do an unboxing of this one then i'll tell you like how much okay i don't know if i should wait for the receipts and then i can tell you how much each costs while i'm unboxing or what can i do so I don't know what time he'll be back. But I'm getting milk from the factory. So I'll just send the border guy to go and get the milk for me. And then that will be it for the shopping. I really hope he has gotten everything though. So I hope you guys can see me. So I'm going to start with... The first carton has tiru. So this is tiru that I got. This is going to last me an entire year to be honest. I'll, I'll be writing the, the prices on the screen. And then I was initially the person who was supposed to go for this shopping because when he went in the morning, he told me that ECB had closed because it's Ramadan and everything. Then I thought maybe I should go to Carrefour. Then I calculated the amount of money that we had for shopping and Carrefour prices, market prices. I, I, I realized it's not going to be enough. So just decided, let's go check in, uh, at ECB in the afternoon so they are open. So this is, I, had, I have six liters of cooking oil. Got still dry. Um, this is the rice that I use. This is my favorite rice that I've been using for so many years. If you want the original Kushori rice, this is it. It's called seal rice. 
I know 5 kg right now is around 13 and a half. So that's that. So we got okay, we got 10 kg this time. The reason why I like sending my husband is that because he will buy things beyond what I've written. So this is another 5 kg. So we have like 10 kg. Uh, I always like to check that it's good. So I know that is 1300. Then over here I have soap. I have bar soap for the dishes. I don't use liquid soap for dishes. And then I have Okay, I, I forgot to write for him to buy automatic wash, but it's still okay. So I have this is the Omo uh, 3.5 kg. I had written 2 kg, but that's the good thing about him. He will, buy, he will go an extra mile. Not always way to get other things. And then in this box, I have Complex. I don't know which brand this is, but it's called Kelly Gates. I don't know. 500 grams. So for the kids complex um my little one likes to match on these ones then i got Wita bricks original also for the kids i think you are buying this and then you get this i'm gonna write the prices for you guys and then he also got oats though i didn't ask for oats because i still have some and the boy doesn't like oats that much but i'm going to use this a lot because it helps maintain weight and it's high in fiber yeah, it's, it's a good source of blue sand. So this is good. Uh, what else? He got my daughter pocket tissues because school and all that. And also me when I want to go out. Uh, black pepper because I had run out. This is the one spice I can survive without. So that's another carton gone. Then he got a bell of unga. There's a bell of unga right here. A maize. Flat. Then a box of indomie chicken flavor. For the kids as well and this is also very nice when i'm lazy and i don't want to cook so let's open the other box i had asked for saucy so they are also trying to reduce the amount of protein that the kids are eating and i think soya is good so this is um so i don't know if soya has protein you guys yes it has an omega-3 and iron which is good but i don't think it's as so much protein as the what we call it, like meat, beef, and all that kind of stuff. So, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, it's a good thing he didn't buy a carton because with the kids have not tested whether they like them. Okay, I think he has bought me oats again. I don't know why he has bought so much oats. I have oats again, and I'm not even using them. I didn't try to oats this time. And then I have Jumbo, I think these are cubes, right? And then I have Rico cubes. So he got this and this, I don't know if there's a difference. I think cubes are cubes. Uh, he got peanut, uh, we got peanut butter for Zaya because he's obsessed with peanut butter. And then he got me cooking cream, but he got only one. I wish he got more than this. Um, also got some tomato sauce this is hot and sweet and then this is tomato sauce he got like four of this let me just check so yeah he got four we got two tomato sauce and two hot and sweet that will last us a while because we don't eat that much and then i have i know this is five kg of sugar and then i have Five of these. This is uh, Ajab cooking. Uh, what is it called? All purpose for baking. So this I have five of this. And then I have, um, have this Majani. And then uh, the worst tomato paste, but it does the job anyway. And then you have tomato paste. So what I'm missing here is I my pads, my some tissue we don't have and service that's the only thing that is missing that but i think he's coming with those from the supermarket because we don't find them from Isili. but basically from Isili, this is what we got so i'll give you the total price once he's back with the receipt so yeah i'll see you with the rest tissue this is bella white <laughs> <one. laughs> eight rolls so i have two of this, I hope you guys can hear me because my face is really making noise. 
and then spaghetti i didn't ask for them but i have them anyway i haven't used those in a while king film uh the three of santa maria and then i needed biryani masala and pilau masala and some thyme there and you guys have been really fancy cooking the thing and then i have some rico and then another put on sweets like he, i think this last shopping he has done in the spring like he wasn't thinking straight because <laughs> he has repeated things he has bought things twice because he has added me a packet of noodles not even one not even two three more packets of noodles and i already have a carton but it's okay not this shopping will last me more than two months and then he got me sanitary towels. This is not the one that I asked for. I wanted the always ultra, not this one maxi pink. I wanted the pink and blue one. And yeah, not this type. This is very thick. I don't like it and it's extremely long. I don't like it. I like the other one, the regular. It's very slim. This one is thick. I know that I don't like. So he got me four of this. I don't blame him because it's been a while since I used pads anyway. I sent him liners, cortex panty liners. He got me cortex pads. I hate cortex with all my heart. This is the thickest pad you can ever think of. I don't know why people like it, but I don't like it. I just hate thick pads. I hate thick pads, to be honest. I don't like thick pads. I don't like walking feeling like I have pads on. I'm shifting the tampons soon. Um, then that's all. I I had asked for Dettol liquid not soap. I have Dettol soap. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then some salads. And then juice that I need to hide because I was going to see this and that. Right now. And then some popcorns and that's it for this shopping. I'm going to give you the total. But I know this is close to milk. Oh, we are waiting for milk. I'm just going to get the milk and the yogurt and then close off this knee. And then I think with the the this is the supermarket hall, the last one, the last bit. So I think with the devil he was put in the market. So this is quite nice for him, baby. To shower in because we are moving him from the house. So the milk is here. Um oh, that is, I have the milk now. I have Ooh, two cartons of this 18 pieces so one carton is 961 so that means you're getting it at a price of 52 shillings mm -hmm. so i get it directly from the Ima company i have a friend who works there but i'll leave the contacts on the comment section for you guys if you need some and then i also got cream bell yogurt so they had an offer and then i got cream bell yogurt uh, I think this is 250 ml. So this one is going for six pieces for 500 drops. So that means one is um, around 500 ml. I'll do the math. 500 by six into 50 goes into eight times, like around 80 something shillings. Yeah, this is 80 shillings. Something shillings. So I got. Two cartons of milk and two cartons of one is for my sister and then another carton of milk is for my sister. So I got three cartons of milk and three cartons of daima. So one is for my sister, one carton of milk and one yogurt is hers. So yeah. So I got vanilla and strawberry. They are not assorted, so just mix them. So this is going to be very good for having oats for breakfast for the little ones. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the haul. It was a long one. I'm still organizing stuff. And then maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I'll close up the vlog here or maybe um, do something else. But if I don't close it right now, I'll close it tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. Good morning. Happy new month. Happy 1st of April. Today's 1st of April. At least today I've got it right because I know it's 1st of April. Hmm. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, we're still continuing. 
so i think i'm gonna close it off today because that's, that's that's enough footage that i need to edit it's gonna be a very long vlog so how are you guys doing i hope you're doing well today i'm doing much better i can't say i'm good but i'm doing much better i'm getting there like i said we pick up ourselves and we move because I, I don't have the time to be depressed and everything. Just stay in that state because I also hate being sad. So I need to get up and pick up myself and pick up my shit and figure out my life. So today I'm just, it's on Saturday. So I didn't do laundry last night. I was so exhausted. After the packing of the shopping and stuff, I even cooked the dinner so late. So I didn't do shop, I didn't do laundry. So I'm doing the laundry now. I hate doing laundry. On Saturday um, during the day because everyone around is doing laundry, so I like waking Mom. up and just hanging laundry. Mom. Yes. Hi. I just waking up and just doing laundry and hanging laundry, then folding them the same day. But if I do them today, folding them is gonna be a hustle. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it today. There's nothing much I'm doing. I've already started a few laundry. And then I'm also uploading a certain video. Okay, one of you, one of you requested that I upload my traditional wedding video, but unfortunately I can't do that. Um, that yes, it happened in 2019 November, on the 19th to be precise. I cannot upload it because it has a lot of our friends and family that do not want to be anywhere in social media so i wouldn't want to infringe on their privacy plus it's, it's just plus it's our thing it's me and my hubby's thing like it's just our personal i can't go out there and put everything out there on social media not everything i can put on social media so that one will have to remain private maybe my wedding if i'll ever have one maybe i'm not sure but like a white wedding but i've already done the other wedding so that's it but me and my hubby have been together since 2013 yeah. 2013 i got married when i was around 22 21 22 there that's when i got married when i got pregnant with my girl and we have been together since then so we paid my diary in 2019 maybe i can just give you a story uh maybe a sit down story on how we saved up for the wedding and stuff but not really posting the video yeah i don't want to talk too much so just giving you a heads up if you don't talk anymore uh maybe we were doing dinner right now what i want to do i want to make breakfast and then i have these affirmations that i need to pin up for my daughter in her room and also i need to uh print my son's affirmations so that um you know when they say the power of reputation is is, is real and then faith and all that that's what i want to do for them i want each and every one of them to have their own affirmations regarding to their life issues and whatever things were just like life in general and then now we can for them it for us to stick in their heads and they're just mostly god's words and you know i can do all things and it has the verses right there for them i'm not afraid of uh for god has given the spirit of has not given me the spirit of fear it is in second timothy like i need them to affirm themselves with scriptures it's very powerful and important so that's what i want to do nothing much and do dishes and do laundry so my first load is done that's what i want to do so yeah have, have yourself a happy new month and uh whatever you're going through just know that it's going to there's a season for everything to end just that's me affirming myself yeah <laughs> guys first of all i want to say that i'm so grateful for the last video i posted i've received so much love like that video has gone up in a way that i didn't expect like the views have really gone up uh well i like that so i think that is the niche now i'm going to fall into the motherly niche and all that so as i was saying uh i have just i've, I've not finished doing laundry to be honest because electricity has been on and off on and off throughout the day so it's currently five i'm trying to figure out what to cook for dinner i really missed pilau especially because we didn't have rice and then i did my shopping yesterday so now i have rice but now the problem is i can't cook pilau with meat because my son needs to eat that rice and he is allergic to beef and okay if i give him protein because yesterday we had what did we have yesterday yesterday he didn't have protein but okay i'm coming baby he's asking for time he's taking a bath yesterday i didn't um give him protein but I, 
he's has a, he has an allergic reaction of protein that he had the day before of beef the day before somebody gave him beef smokies and it has a whole reaction in his body so i'm trying to avoid that so since i miss pilau and I, I want to make chicken curry because for me to make pilau means i have to make stew for her because he just he doesn't like pilau and touching but he likes his stew so i decided to combine the recipe so i'm going to make chicken curry and then i'm going to make a mimic of pilau so my pilau won't have meat in it it's just gonna have all the other recipe all the other ingredients but not meat so it's just going to be rice plain rice uh with the pilau recipe and then beef, uh, chicken curry on the side so that's what you're cooking i know this vlog is long and i know that there's some parts that i'm talking too long but please let me express my feelings and my joy uh when it's necessary so let's do the cooking and then we're gonna close off the vlog so after that i guess i'll see you guys in my next video because i need to start editing this today so we can go up on monday so yeah see you guys in my next one bye please don't forget to like subscribe uh yeah let us hit that mark where god wants us to hit so yeah see you guys in my next one bye Is our final product. <laughs>